you know, since that thing came out, I got quite a few of them gains. And so, uh, we'll be showing them off. And I got kind of a lot, so we'll see. I guess I'll say a little bit about each game. Okay, but folks, first up is Until Dawn. And that's like a scary game. You know, that's pretty cool. And I think I got it the day it came out. Because I was like real excited about it because it looked real scary. You're like in this cabin in the woods with your friends. And like you make decisions and they all affect how the game turns out. That is next one's a gem and a half. That there's the Elder Scroll Skyrim. And I'll tell you this game's real fun. I got it like on back on PlayStation 3. The day it came out. I waited in the shivering cold outside of GameStop. And it was November the eleventh of two thousand eleven. And then I got it again when it came out on the PlayStation 4. You know, this game's real fun. It's like medieval. And you could be like a mage or like a, you know, like a, uh, well, like a, you know, a marksman, you know, with like a, uh, like a bow and arrow or like a uh, swordsman. A lot of people know about this game. It's like one of the best ones. Now this game is one of the best games I ever played. Well, it's two of them, but it's Resident Evil Origins Collection. So, you know, it's got the uh, remake of Resident Evil 1 from the GameCube. And it's got Resident Evil 0 from the GameCube. And like I was so excited when this came out, because them Resident Evils, you know, I'd be lying if I said they weren't one of my favorite games ever. You know, they're real scary and stuff, and like real fun, shooting zombies. This sucker I got the day it came out, absolutely. It's Resident Evil 7. And that game's like a first person Resident Evil, so it's like the first sort of one. They had a few other ones, but this one's like one of the main games. And I always wished that I had, like, the PlayStation VR. Because you could play this in the VR if you have it. In this game, you fight zombies and creatures, and it's real scary, folks. Tell you what, I'd recommend that one. Well, we're on a roll with the Resident Evils, because we got Resident Evil 5 right there. And I got this game, you know, back when it came out on the PlayStation 3. And some people ask me, like, how come you buy it again? And it's for, like, the simple fact that, uh, it's in HD now. And, like, just looks a lot better, and, uh, it's really cool. This is another really good Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4, folks. And I'll tell you something. If that ain't one of the best Resident Evils of all time. You know, it was like one of the first ones where you could like aim wherever you wanted. And like the old Resident Evils. You know, you could only aim in certain places. But in this one, you know, you can look wherever you want and all that. This game came out on the GameCube. Back in 2005, I think. You know, and uh, I caught it on the GameCube back then, but then this one's HD and like, you know, it's real good. I like a lot of scary video games. And this is another scary two, you know, three games, I guess. And it's Outlast Drill Nitty. It's like three 
games. So it's like Outlast 1. You know, the Outlast DLC. And then like Outlast 2. And he's real scary. On account of the fact that you can't fight. And you just gotta run from people. You know, you gotta hide and all this stuff. And them Outlast games always, you know, real fun to play, but real scary for you. No Man's Sky. You know, this game, I got the day it came out, I think. And, like, a lot of people was angry about this one. Because, uh, apparently it didn't really do the things that they said would be in the game. Like, people thought there'd be multiplayer and there wasn't. But it was pretty fun, kind of like a, you know, like you gotta harvest stuff. You gotta, like, get supplies and build new ships and you can travel around space and visit planets. And every planet's got, like, different animals. Yeah, that was pretty fun. You know, we got this on standby. We got the Minecraft. And I do believe I play this game every now and again. You know, and like record it on this channel that you're watching right now. You know, I think we're up to like... Oh, I can't really remember which one we're on now. Excuse me, but this game, you know, a lot of people know about it. It's like a creative game. You get to, like, go and find stuff and build things. It's all blocks. Yeah, I always really liked the Minecraft, because you could be real creative if you want. I got this next one for a Christmas present. It's called Metro Redux, and it's got like two games, Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light, and they're kind of like, sort of like uh, games that are after like a post-apocalypse, and you fight like mutated creatures and all kinds of stuff. It's like a first-person shooter game. I never beat either one of these, but it, they're really fun. You know, to, to, so, you know, like sometimes I think that I, or, you know, have too many video games because sometimes I don't beat the ones that I even have. And I probably should before I start other ones. This one I played. I played this one on, uh, for this channel, it's called Little Nightmares, and I did a full play of this game on this channel. It's, like, real fun, you're a small person, and you gotta run from, like, big old people and scary stuff. It ain't too long, but it's, like, just long enough. And I'd say I really like this one. I think I beat it probably, you know, six times. This next game's real near and dear to my heart. And because I played the first two. And this game's called Little Big Planet 3. And this is the Day 1 edition. Where, like, you know, I don't think I got it right when it came out, but, you know, I bought it from Target. And it came with, like, a little, uh, sack boy figure. That's what they call the main character, the sack boy. He's, like, a filled with beans, kind of, I think. Maybe cotton. You know, this, these games are real fun, but they're only on the PlayStation 3 and 4. These games are, you know, you jump around and grab onto stuff, and 
you can be pretty creative and you make your own levels. So I always really like that about the Little Big Planets. Okay, the next one is a classic game. It's the Grand Theft Auto V. So, you know, I, I've been playing these games ever since I was like 11 years old. You know, I got the number three when I was 11. And it came out, uh, I think, in like October 2001. And I got it for Christmas that year. And I was over the moon. But, you know, I didn't have a memory card, so I had to keep replaying for like a few months because I never got a memory card. But this number five has got like real good graphics. And it's a really good game. You know, uh, looks real good, folks, and you can do like first person in this, this game. Here's another scary game, folks. This one's called The Evil Within. And it's, uh, you know, like by some of the same people from Resident Evil. And, uh, you know, you go around like shooting creatures. And there's like a lot of different kind of creatures. You know, uh, and you can like be silent or you can, you know, run around in front of them. I always like being silent because then like you can save ammo and stuff. But that's a good scary game. I recommend that one. Another scary zombie game. It's called Dying Light. And it's like first person zombie game. And you can parkour like jumping from ledges. And I always like that about that is that you can jump off stuff and land in big piles of garbage. That's one of the best parts about the game is you jump off a roof into a garbage pack. You know, it's just come to my attention that I got a lot of zombie games. But it's another zombie game. It's called Dead Rising 2. And it, like, originally came out on the PlayStation 3 and PC and Xbox back in 2010. And it came out again on PS4, you know, like, last fall. You know, you run around and, you know, like, chop up zombies. But it's like a funny game, too. And like, I really like this game. These are one of my favorite games, you know, they, uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can make, like, cool weapon combinations. And they're really funny weapons, like, they got teddy bear weapons and, like, like, rake weapons. Like, the, you know, like what you use to rake the leaves. And there's uh, Dead Rising 1. This came out back in like 2006 or something. And it came out again last year. Right, you know, around the time that number 2 did. It's the same kind of thing. You like fight zombies and stuff with like funny weapons. And, you know, it's like a real funny game. Okay, folks, we got Dark Souls 2. Now, these games are pretty hard. But, like, if you play it enough, I'll tell you, you can get good at it. You know, I got, like, decent at these. And I played number 3. And I put a few of them up on this channel that I played. But these games are cool, you, you know, like medieval times, and you fight creatures, and like humans, and like, it's real hard, because, you know, like three hits and you're dead, or like, you know, 
sometimes one. It depends on the enemy and stuff. Timber like infamous for being notorious and hard. And this game is by the makers of Dark Souls. And it's called Bloodborne. And this game's one of my favorites ever. It's like kind of scary and pretty hard like the Dark Souls games. And like all the creatures are so crazy looking. You're like a man with a gun and a uh, main weapon. They go around like fighting these crazy characters in like a dark world. I beat this game quite a few times. Then maybe sometime I could play it for ASMR, maybe. Or just walk around and show the, you know, like pretty landscapes. Because it looks really good. Last but not least, well, actually, I got one more. This is a Duck Dynasty game, and I ain't opened it. As you can see, the wrapping is still on it. You know, it's from, like, the TV show, and I guess you can do all kinds of stuff, like, you know, shooting at, like, ducks and uh, doing funny stuff. But like I got it on clearance. And like I never got around to playing it, but I probably will. Because that show is kind of like a goofy show. Where they like have, do jokes and all kinds of funny stuff. Well folks, now we got the last but not least. And it's called Seven Days to Die. And there's another, like, zombie type of game. It's, uh, you've got to survive, and it's kind of hard. Even on, like, easier medium. I tried playing this, and, like, you can die from diarrhea and stuff. So you got to be careful. you got to eat the right stuff. And I can never find, like, the cure for dehydrations and, you know, like, all this crap that's, like survival but it's real fun and maybe I'd get better if I played it enough I recommend that game too well folks thanks a lot for watching you know those were my PS4 games and like uh, if you liked the video be sure to like and you know maybe subscribe and also consider supporting me on Patreon Cause that'll like, you know, give me the funds to maybe do better role plays and pizza videos and all of that. So, folks, that's going to be dolting out. And have yourselves a good one. We'll see you for the next video.